Why did you decide to write Toto the Ninja Cat about a cat? Oh, good question. Um, I decided to write the book because I've got a real life cat called Toto. Uh, and she is blind, completely blind, but she has these incredible ninja-like tendencies, so um, she's able to see breaks of light, so if a bird flies over on a clear day, and she'll look up. I was watching her do that yesterday, it was a nice day, and she was in the garden. And um, so she's got these ninja-like tendencies, so we started calling her the little ninja, and then um, I thought it'd be a great idea for a book. What was your favourite book when you were little? My favourite book when I was little, um, there was two. Um, the first one was Raymond Briggs' Father Christmas, which was my favourite. I suppose you could call it a picture book. It wasn't really a chapter book, but, um, but, it, but it was. I liked it because he, he, he made Father Christmas to be quite a grumpy guy, which I thought was very funny. And then when I was a bit older, it was Fantastic Mr Fox, which is still probably my favourite children's book. I love that. What did you enjoy the most, writing books or being on television? These are tough. Um, to be honest with you, they're two very different things, or, and I do radio as well, and they're three diff very different things, but I think that's what I like about the career, the career I've been able to have, is that you do different things every day. Do you get stage fright? Do I get stage fright? Um, I definitely get nervous, but I think that's a good thing, um, because it means you, you know, you're, you, it keeps you sharp, and uh, if you get lazy, then you make mistakes. But um, I wouldn't say stage fright. Who in your life has inspired you the most? That's a good question. Who in my life has inspired me the most? I suppose I would say my mum and dad. Um, they came over here from Ireland in the late 1960s and um, they uh, brought us uh, down here to Colchester, which is where I was born and brought up. And um, they just inspired us in, in sort of both, they were loving and wonderful parents, but also they inspired us uh, to work hard and to enjoy life and have fun and uh and definitely to read so my dad in particular was, was very big on on me um, learning how to read what made you want to write stories um what made me want to want to write stories i've always written as part of my job and i've always really enjoyed it and so i had a bit more time a few years ago and i was able to um put pen to paper what book did you enjoy writing most and why Okay, the book I think I enjoyed writing the most and one is probably my second book because my first book, which is Toto the Ninja Cat and the Great Snake Escape, I, I kind of had the idea planned out in my head and I kind of knew what I wanted to write. Whereas my second book, when um, when I got um, my deal, so they said we'd like you to write a book, they said we'd like you to write two books. And I remember leaving the room and thinking, I've only got one idea. So I think my second book was, in many ways, the one that I enjoyed writing the most because um, the idea just had to come from scratch and, and I didn't think it was going to it was going to for a long time and then I started thinking about things and write I always have a notepad with me and started writing some ideas down and, and before I knew it we had, I, you know I had the idea for a, a second book and so that, to prove I can do it more than once I think was in many ways you know the, the, the one I enjoyed the most. When I'm older I'd like to be an author do you have any advice for me? Well, the advice I would give you is don't wait till you're older. Start now. Just start writing. Just put pen to paper. It doesn't matter if you make mistakes. It doesn't matter if you're not happy with it. But the most important thing is because you can always start again. You can always change your story to go in different places. So, yeah, I would say the most important thing is to start writing now.